Hello, my name is Ness Tilson. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use Polyboard, our cabinet design and manufacturing software, with OptiNest, our nesting optimization software. Both OptiNest and Polyboard are standalone software packages that can be used independently. OptiNest is an industrial grade true shape nesting software package that can nest any shape onto any material. OptiNest can seamlessly integrate into Polyboard to create an extremely efficient nested production workflow that can save an enormous amount of time and money for anyone that builds cabinets or furniture. Let's see how this works by running through an example project to see how Polyboard works with OptiNest. Here we have a closet designed in Polyboard. This project contains parts made of several different types of material. Let's export the parts of this project into OptiNest. To do this, I'm going to use a specific Polyboard Post Processor. I'm going to go to File, Post Processor Export. A post processor will create a layered DXF file per part, and the layer names will be specifically set up to allow automatic toolpathing in a CAM program. As you can see, there is a vast number of possible exports to choose from according to the machine or the CAM program that you will be needing to export to. For this example, I'm going to export the parts so they will automatically be set up for toolpathing on a BSC CNC machine running B-Solid. I'm just going to choose a folder where to save the parts. The parts have been now exported and Polyboard has automatically opened OptiNest. And if I look in my Windows menu, I can see that Polyboard has created an OptiNest project per material type. Let's choose the 19mm materials and we can see that we have all the different parts here on the left of our screen. Before we start, let's see what we have in the stock. Panel stock is the sheet material that we're actually going to cut our different parts from. And we have a choice here of standard sheet sizes. And let's say that we want to use all three sheets and we're going to tick all three sheets and ask OptiNest to optimize onto the best sheet size, mixing up the sheet sizes. If I just click OK, and now I click on Optimize. So once the optimization is finished, we can see that we need, in fact, three sheets of material. We need one big sheet of 1m85 by 3m50, and two small sheets of 1250 by 2m50. OptiNest will actually print out a workshop document with a list of parts and the list of panels and the list of cutting maps and the cost of the project as well as the cutting maps for each particular sheet. Of course, OptiNest will be able to export a DXF file that you can use for running a CNC machine. We'll also print all the labels for each part. We can see that on the last sheet, we do have a section of the sheet which is considered to be a reusable offcut. If I tell OptiNest to reintegrate this offcut into the stock, and then I look at the stock, we can see that here we have the offcut which has been reintegrated into the stock. Let's see how we can use this offcut to continue our optimization for another cutting list. For example, if I take the second grade EGA 19mm material here, I want to use the offcut I got from my previous optimization to cut these draw fronts. I just go into the stock material and I just leave ticked the offcuts. What I'm actually saying now is optimize this cutting list onto the offcut. Let's optimize it here. Now this offcut has been used to recut the draw fronts. But we can see from the optimization report that the number of pieces that have been optimized is only six out of 10. And that we have four pieces which have not been able to place on the offcut, which actually means the offcut is too small to get all the pieces onto it. So let's change this optimization and add another sheet to our optimization so that we get all these pieces nested as they should be. I'll open my stock again and say that we're going to use this offcut, but we're also going to use a small sheet of material. Now we can see that OptiNest has told us in its optimization result that all 10 pieces have been nested. If I click OK, I can see here that we have in fact now used the offcut here to nest these number of parts and added one sheet to our nesting to add these number of parts. And we can see that there is a big offcut here, which I can now add again to my panels stock. And in my panel stock, I'll get that the other offcut has been taken away, replaced it with this offcut, which is this shape, that we can now use for our next project. 